The governor of Oshun State, Ademola Adeleke, has had a tumultuous political career emerging winner in an election that set a precedent in Nigeria's electoral history owing to the introduction of the bimodal voter accreditation system in 2022. I had the pleasure of interviewing the governor and we discussed several topics, including his love for the entertainment industry and how he went back to school at the age of 60, as well as his plans for the good people of Oshun State. Known as the Dancing Governor, owing to his viral dance moves, which have broken the internet on many occasions, Ademola Nuruddin Jackson Adelike is arguably one of the most entertaining politicians in Africa. So far, so Born into the affluent Adeleke family of Ede in Oshun State, a family characterized by entertainers, his son, Adebayo Adeleke, who goes by the stage name B-Red, is a musician who has released a number of singles, including Uju and Cucumber, featuring Senegalese artist Akon. Governor Adeleke is also uncle to Grammy-nominated Afrobeat star Davido, who has been a staunch supporter of his political career, taking the lead during his campaigns and performing at several of his rallies. Governor Adeleke began his political career in 2001 alongside his late brother, Senator Isiaka Adeleke, the first civilian governor of Oshun State, who died under controversial circumstances in April 2017. After his brother's death, the governor contested the Oshun West senatorial by-election to fill his brother's seat and won in nine local government areas out of 10 under the platform of the People's Democratic Party. Determined to serve the people of Oshun State in an executive capacity, Adeleke emerged as the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Oshun State. After a keenly contested election in 2018, with Adeleke in the lead, the Independent National Electoral Commission declared the election inconclusive and ordered a rerun. Adeleke was defeated in the rerun by his closest rival, Boyega Oyetola of the All Progressives Congress. The election was marred by irregularities. Adeleke accused the Independent National Electoral Commission of being biased against him and vowed to contest the result of the election and reclaim his stolen mandate. I, Senator Ademola Nordin Adeleke, am still alive and we are going to reclaim our mandate given to us by the Osho people. Four years after that election, Nigerians watched as the people of Oshun State trooped out in mass to vote for Adeleke and delivered a clear, loud and strong message, Imole Day, which means light has come as he became the sixth chief executive of Oshun State. <laughs> Governor Ademola Adeleke, Your Excellency, thank you for joining me on the program. Thank you very much. You've been referred to as the dancing senator. Mm -hmm. Now, the dancing governor. <laughs> <laughs> Owing to all of your dance moves on social media, you know mm -hmm. I highlight all of your stories on mm -hmm. what's trending. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd like to know where you got that from. Actually, I'm supposed to be um, a musician. You know, right away, but my father you could not allow it. During that time when we were growing up in 15, the sisters, yeah. they don't believe that they, they don't believe that, you know, somebody should go and do music. That's not the or trick. play football and everything. They just wanted to go to school. Correct. So it discouraged me. Mm -hmm. But I 
name that I still have that, you know, talent. Yeah, right. So thank God that I pass it to my nephew and my, and my son. They're doing very well. You taught your nephew how to dance. Yes. How but you're multi-talented. Yes. I heard that you're also a drummer. Oh, and course. only recently, I heard you sing. Oh, so you're mm -hmm. a complete, a well-rounded entertainer. Ah, uh, my God. You, you know, know, people yes. say that if you leave the government house, mm -hmm. you have a career in music or entertainment. Well, Are you never going say, to go ne for never that? Say never. <laughs> Would you do that? It can happen. Absolutely. Never say never. Anything can happen. Music, you know, if you play music now, I don't know how to, something will just tell me. Can somebody turn on the music right now, please? <laughs> we need, we need it. So, if, if you don't play music, yes. I don't know how my body, will, my body will just start moving without yeah. knowing it. Yeah, you, you were telling me earlier yeah. that you, you participated in a lot of dancing competitions. Let me, let me tell you about yeah, that. I'd let me tell you about that. that. You know, I, you know, I got to America in, in 1981. And then, of course, the name of my school, that time in Alabama, United States of America. It's called Jackson State University. Wow, coincidence. Yes. So it's a countryside, it's a university town. Right. That was the day that the school uh, was having their anniversary. A lot of activities, a lot of festivities, a lot of, so there's dancing competition there. So I picked the dancing, yeah. dancing part. Right. So after the uh, stage one, stage two, and everything. So we got into the finals. So to call the old story short, I won. So when I won, I remember vividly the president of our school, uh, Mr. Mon Montgomery, and he was trying to pronounce my name. <laughs> I did, I did again. He said, oh, what the heck? <laughs> and it was during the time of Michael Jackson, Jackson Five, they were raining. And he said, you know what? He should won this election. Hey, in school, yeah? Since you're in Jacksonville, you're now Jackson. I call you Jackson. Don't tell me that's how you got your name. That's how I got my name. And Jackson's talk. Wow. I have it in my password, my subject, and everything. I was just saying coincident. I thought you were no, born no, 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 no. Jackson. My, 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 father, my father gave me a name mm -hmm. at my birth. Ademola Nuruddin Adenike. My mom gave me if I for my mother is Igbo. Yeah. But you can only use three yes. in your passport. Mm -hmm. So... In my passport now, I have Ademola Jackson Adeleke. Fantastic. Yeah. The dancing governor. That's right. <laughs> you, this is exactly why you That's are the right. dancing governor. So it's, it's no. like that. It's been started a long time ago. It's beautiful to hear. Yeah. Now tell us how you grew up. You know, I love the story that you have just narrated about, you know, your yeah. early life yeah. in yeah. America. Yeah. Yeah. I'd really like to know how you grew up, your childhood, yes. your family life. Yes, yes. Tell well, I... Uh, we have a fantastic uh, family, the Adeleke family. Uh, my father, very disciplined. My mom, my father was a uh, trade unionist. My father <laughs> was uh, a nurse. And he met my mom in Enugu. And six of us, my mom, were all born in Enugu. It was during the war. My father even built a house in Enugu and gave it to his uh, close friend when the war, you know, broke out. So we have to rush down to, uh, to Lagos, you know, to go and stay. But before we left, I don't know if I can't even speak Yoruba. All of us cannot speak Yoruba. Do you speak Igbo? I speak Igbo. Fantastic. Very well. I speak Igbo. Inasu Igbo. Inasu Igbo. Or Fuma. Get a call. Inasu Igbo. All the man. Fantastic. One day, one day, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we can't even speak Yoruba. <clears throat> All of us. We only speak Igbo, broken, and English. But you're not just from a, a multicultural family. Yeah. You're also from a multi-religious family. Yes. Your father is Muslim, Muslim and your mother Christian. is Christian. Yes. How did you combine that? Well, <clears throat> well, that's why we are civilized. My father studied in the UK. And when he came to marry my mom, my grandmother told, told uh, him that, look, I hope you're not going to change my daughter. To, to my father, my father said, no. We pray the same God. Muslims say Allah. And we say God, you know, through Jesus Christ. So it's the same thing. It's when, it's when people, especially the politician, when they want to use it, they started using religion. If they don't use religion, they use ethics. And so we grew up in, in our family, Muslim, Christian, and we lived together. 
My father will take me to mosque. I will go there. Allah, Wakuba, and I will do it. Fantastic. The God is great. Yes. Then I will go to church. Cherubin and Seraphim. The internal secret order of Cherubin and Seraphim. I will go there. And that is where my dancing skill and of course music, you know, started. In well, church? In church. Can I tell you? Yeah. The first video I saw you dancing was at in church. church. Yes. It started, it started from there. The interest it started from there. But uh, uh, my father would not allow me to uh, be a musician. So just school, 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 and, and everything like that. So I'm glad my, my kids and uh, uh, my nephew, they're doing very well. We but pass it to them. Congratulations. They're doing yes. excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yes, yeah. I mean, you are a full on entertainer, mm. a drummer, a dancer, and a, a singer. singer. Yes. And, of course, a politician. Yes. And this brings me to my next question. Okay. I'd like for you to um, analyze the current economic situation in Nigeria. Mm. What do you make of Tinubu's administration in terms of what they've been doing for palliatives? Yeah. But I'd also like to know what you're doing in your state. What sort of palliatives have you began to distribute? Okay. And the 35,000... Naira wage award mm -hmm. that was announced on October 1st mm -hmm. by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu yeah. to go to citizens of each state. Have you started that distribution? 35 uh, minimum wage? Yes. No, but, it wasn't minimum wage. Mm -hmm. It was a wage award for six months. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I, I'm, it appears that you're not sure about that. That, that is something I'm not sure about. He, he, he's doing other, you know, palliative, mm -hmm. you know, and he has released some money for the state to cushion the a problem of But, but has Oshun State gotten any uh, money from the federal government of to course. distribute to civil servants? And yes. ha has that 35,000 Naira wage award been offered to your citizens? Uh, no, no. So that hasn't come into effect? No, that hasn't come yet. So yeah. tell us about your palliative measures. I have a huge check about almost 40 something billion. So I started paying that half salary. Slowly, little by little. I, I think we have paid about uh, uh, four times now. Yes, I've the, seen that. Yeah, 51, 51 is coming. And then the pensioners, they have not had it so good. You know, I'm paying them too. And the pensioners and the retirees, I give them free, uh, you know, medical care and all that. So that's part of, you know, palliative to cushion even the health care. Talk to us about the health care. Yeah, the health care. All our primary health care. My God, I went there and visit myself. So they told me that. So a governor can come and visit. I said, my own governor is different. They have to stop fixing all the, all the health centers. About 332 wards simultaneously. Fantastic. They were fixing it. Then, of course, the, all, the, all the elderly, we gave them free medical care, to the extent that we register them, say so you must come and register, okay. and we give them a card. Fantastic. To the extent that if they go to another state, for example, Lagos State, if they're sick, they will go and get treatment there, and they will send the bill to Washu, to government, and we pay for it. And uh, they're they are, they are very happy. So on my way to Washington State, mm -hmm. we experienced a lot of bad roads. Yes. But I was told that there were federal roads. Yes. But I also heard that you mm -hmm. have done a lot. On federal roads too. On federal roads yes. as well. Yes, yes. You see all those roads that you're passing mm -hmm. through, is federal roads and all that. But I started fixing it so that they can, I can go and give them checks. At least I'll fix the federal road because my people are suffering. But I talked to myself, before I embark on federal roads, it might be difficult for me to come and start looking for my money. Let me fix the state road first. Absolutely. So I said, I suspected federal road, but I will complete the one that I started. So I started fixing the state road and of course interland. I don't just do you know, surface. In fact, most of the roads that the APC are claiming that they fixed, it was 
through the government, a federal government intervention. So that means that they did not do any roads. Yeah. Now, have you presented your check to the federal government for the roads that you have fixed? Well, yeah. Up to now, I've not received any Well, money. I hope you get that <laughs> money back. We keep our fingers crossed yes, for yes, you. Yes. We also hear that you're trying to make Oshun State a tourist hotbed. What are your plans for that? Wow. And you know, I believe I have visited the Airy Injesha Fall. I hope Injesha, I got it yeah, right. Airy Injesha Fall. Oh my God, so beautiful. Yes. Can you imagine you standing there for more than two hours? God is wonderful. No, I did a photo shoot there. You never did too. Yes. So the thing we fall in there and everything like that. And I say, wow. And all these white people will come. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I said, listen, that part of my agenda, tourism, culture, and entertainment. Because I live in the US, entertainment, culture, and everything, big time. Absolutely. And we have gold too. Absolutely. And they did not say about that. So we are doing a lot to improve our IGR. Yes. In terms of gold, we have bitumen, we have a lot in Oshu State. We have to just tap it. And a very serious government, when you are serious, Oshu is not poor, Oshu is very rich. Yes. We have cocoa. Yes. So by the time we are put, I've already formed a lot of committee yes. and they are bringing everything. I'm working 247 to make sure that Oshu is great. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'd like to talk about your election. Was the 2022 not, election? The 2022 election was mm -hmm. not your first election. The, the first governorship. governorship election was in oh. 2018. I mean, you were in the Senate for a year. Yeah. A lot of people mm -hmm. have said that they stole your mandate. <clears throat> Big time. The 2018 election, I won the election. Even the APC, those people that colluded against me, they are now with me now. They are now in PDP. Yeah. And they started telling me that when they stole the mandate of the people, I was still cool. I said, no problem. No problem is that it's not your time. And I went back to school. What school did you go back to? I went back, anyway, I went to Jackson State University. Okay. See, a lot of people, they don't know nothing here. Yeah. In America, and I will introduce that system in Oshu State. I will take it to the uh, House of Assembly to pass it into law. In the United States of America, if you go to school there, university or whatever high school, if you drop for one reason or the other, maybe you don't have money. My own case, I, <laughs> I started making money big time. I registered as a contractor on the courier service. I have a lot of contract here and there and everything that my mind would not pay that money. I said, let the school wait. So I left, started making money. And I, I, do, I read the constitution, you only need high school mm -hmm. uh, to even be president mm -hmm. or attempted high school. I said, okay. So you started school in the United States yes. and then you stopped, you dropped out. And yes. then after you lost the election mm -hmm. in 2018, yes. you went, went back, back to school, to school <coughs> to complete yeah. your university yeah, my university. degree. Yeah. Yeah. What course did you study and, and when did justice, you finish? Criminal justice, and criminal justice in major and political science minor. So you completed your studies. I completed uh, my study. What year? Um, uh, 2021. You finished school in finished school. So you have a university degree. Of course. Fantastic. Uh, and high honors. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me their hand out. I went back to school. They were abusive with that. Oh, look at our governor, you know, in, uh, in the Western world here. Yeah. It's book, 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 book. I said, okay, it's, it's book, book that you want. Yeah. I will give you the book. I said, well, why don't you go to university, my brother? I'll go to back home. I said, my brother, I ain't going to do that. If I stay here, they will say, you have money. You use money to buy your certificate. That's another controversy. Let me go to America. At the age of 60 then, I said, I don't care. I will suffer. Wow. I want to sacrifice for my people. And I want to tell my people, it's never too late to do anything. All you want people that drop out of school, yeah. you can go back to school. Yeah. At my age at 60, I want to sacrifice for what you say. Since it's the requirement, they are saying that I didn't have, I went back to school and everything. So. Do you know that when I went to the registrar, right. they sat for my transcript, transcript yeah. for more than one hour? Right. Because it's 1980-something. 
So they found it. They found your transcript. They found my transcript and then seal it. Yeah. And I, since I don't want to stay in that school again, I went back to Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Metropolitan State College. College is university too. Mm -hmm. In Europe. Of when course. they hear college, they say, ah, it's college, mm -hmm. but it's university. Of course. They call it this university system of Georgia. Right. So I went there. That one is in Atlanta. So I completed it within two years. So they started saying, ha, ah, is it not four years that you actually, my brother completed his BS two and a half years because it takes a lot of, it started taking a lot of hours. Yeah, you can do the multiple hours. Multiple yes, hours. You could do that. If you are smart. Yes, absolutely. Good. So, so you graduated from that school from yes. in Atlanta. Atlanta. With high honors. High honors. I got my certificate, man. Well, I will show you. So where's all the story about the F9 and, you know, you the didn't F9, do well in the, school? The F9 they are talking about. Yes, what is that? Listen, the F9 yes. they are talking about. When I took my wife, yeah. during that period in 1981, they, 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 the school board or whatever they call it, they accused our set that we have seen the paper already. So they started feeling everybody. And me. I took the exam. You know, I finished three days in the exam. I didn't wait to see the result. I got my uh, admission already in the uh, in, 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 uh, in US. In the United States. Because we do, they don't, even if you carry your A1 and everything, when you get to US, you must come and do exam. I did my, you know, 12 exam. Of course. I did my ACT. You know what I'm talking about? Of course. I did my SAT. Yeah. And I passed. Right. And I was admitted into the school. So I did what I told. Mm. You know, to check. So it was when my brother died. Mm. And I don't have time. So I sent one of my PA to go to my school to come and, you know, pick it up. So I got F9 in English. And then only one, the result, the, the other result, they didn't release it. Right. But they released only one F9. You know, politicians say, <laughs> ah, this guy's an F9. <laughs> this guy's an F9. So, and I said, okay, no problem. <laughs> you are calling me F9. So, I will go back. Let me tell you something. Yes. I shocked them. Tell me. High school too. As I was doing my university, I registered for high school too, simultaneously. How do you do in high school? I, honors. Wow. Yes. So they didn't know. So when I got here, when I was submitting to INEC, yes. they said, oh, you know, I have my high school after I said, sorry, I've done it again. They didn't know. And I said, that's it, they went, well. So I showed it, I said, sorry, I got it. How about Johnny C? There you go. To the extent that the uh, Ministry, oh of, Ministry of Education, they helped me a lot. They now wrote me a letter that my school is recognized. And of course, I have high honors, everything. They accepted my high school too. Fantastic. The Gogolin Penn, you know, uh, uh, State High School in Pennsylvania. They accepted it too. Bam, bam. And they stamp it and they sign it. I didn't tell them. Fantastic. I put it down. So 2022, you 2022, came yeah, I, got, I was ready for them. So I gave it to them and everything. So when they are talking, when they go low, we go high. We go high. That is when they realize that yeah. man, this guy is ready. So 2022, mm -hmm. you won the election. Last slide. But that election mm -hmm. set some sort of precedence. You know, after the Supreme Court overturned mm -hmm. the appeal court's decision and affirmed you governor of the state. Mm -hmm. You know, there was that theory about the beavers and overvoting. I mean, mm -hmm. that was the introduction of mm -hmm. the, the beavers. Yes. And the Supreme Court held that you won that election. Time. You know what? God loves me so much. Yeah. Because I always praise him. Yeah. They don't know why I praise my God all the time. God's always paved the way for me. That beaver they introduced is for me. If they didn't introduce that beaver, they would eat me again. It was that beaver that saved me. They said, no, these beavers got all the authentic results. Yeah. I said, at least, Mr. President Buhari that time, he did this one. I went to go and greet him. I said, thank you for introducing this beaver, for signing it, in, signing it into law. There were two victories for you. Straight up. There was a day you were announced winner, and there was a day the Supreme, Supreme Court, Court affirmed, affirmed 
you as the governor, as the governor. authentic governor of Washington State. I'd like to know your feelings. Man, I felt so good. My family were there with me. Family, friends, my nephew, David O. Adeliki, Ademola Jackson, Nuruddin. <laughs> One year now, Osho is moving. It is one year. Actually, you were absent for your one year anniversary. Good. You were not in the country. Definitely. And you recently returned. Why were you away? If you calculate the time of the campaign, and of course the election proper, and it's going like two and a half years, and I've not done any checkup, that is what happened to a lot of leaders. They will not do checkup, they will just be standing and everything. They will just fall down and die. Yeah. But a lot of people are, you know, planning it for us to have a big party, to call Sonia there, call Shino Peters, call uh, Ebenezer Obe, Davido, Mirel, all of that. Don't celebrate. I invite you. I was even thinking I will invite you too. To come and celebrate, <laughs> to come and celebrate with us right. and all that. Because you don't know that you're my friend. On the TV, I always watch your show. <laughs> Thank you. I always watch your show. Thank when you, it comes, sir. ah, this trendy woman again. I will watch it. <laughs> you know, and it makes a rise so popular. Thank you, sir. You know, I have to give it to you. Thank you, sir. I love your show. Thank you. You are you, doing sir. very well. I so, appreciate. I was trying to avoid it because in our family, when a big side, when big, big, big side like that and everything, you know. And of course, the diabetes we have in our family is hereditary. Okay. So if you don't watch your weight, hey, you can get it. So I went there for vacation, and then I was working too. Right. Yeah, I was working while I was there. So that was, that was why I canceled. A lot of people were surprised. Yeah. So I canceled the celebration. I said, we're going to use that money for something else. Fix road, right. do that, and everything like that. Let your people see. We will give uh, palliatives. I wasn't sick. Everything, nothing whatsoever. But my detractor said that, my opponent said that they, they will me in the wheelchair. I said that the one that they will wheel in wheelchair. It's not me. You've talked about your detractors a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when that uh, victory was announced, actually, when the Supreme Court affirmed mm -hmm. your, um, your victory, you know, a lot of people talked about your relationship. What's your relationship now with the immediate past governor, who is the minister of marine and blue economy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boyega, Boyega, Boyega. Tola. What is yeah. your relationship with him? In fact, let me tell you something. When my brother took us to APC briefly, another before, before I left APC, when they didn't want to give me, the, the, uh, uh, when he died, to give me just free, just ticket for me to go and replace him, another. We were very close. So when we left, it, it, just, it just changed. Because I'm contesting you know, against him. I said, life is not like that. So it's just, you know, stop calling me. And I said, okay, well, it's not my fault that you have, I have to be friend with you. So now, actually, governor is the one that's supposed to nominate a minister. Well, since he lost the election, the brother is the president. They nominated, nominated him on behalf of Oshu. I didn't say anything. I said, well, let me let him go. You didn't submit any names? They didn't ask me to submit. Wow. They just give it to him. So why do I need to? I mean, you know, there are some certain things that I don't leave it alone. I don't leave it alone. They're supposed to tell me to submit. But he doesn't know that. If they ask me to submit, if he come to me that, hey, man, bro, I lost this election. I'll give, it, I'll give it to him. Right. But what did he did not do? He didn't pick up the phone and call me. Hmm. I called him. I say, hey man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I ask my people to support you. They're not in APC. This is the first time this thing will be happening. So you cannot pick up people and call me. And then you're done now. Why did you do that? He said, oh, Mr. Gondor, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, man, I'm sorry. I said, it's all good. I hope they give you something good. You know, I'm bringing it home. Bring something good to us. I wish you well, brother. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Was that the last time you spoke? That was the last time. Yes. That what is your time. relationship with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu? 
You know what? We have a cordial relationship. We have a cordial relationship. Are you optimistic about yeah. the Tinubu administration and his renewed hope agenda? Well, see, one thing with me is that whichever way he gets there, God wants him to be there. That is my belief. And since he's there now, he's our president. So we have to keep praying for him. For his health, for everything, so that he can do well for us. He's not here a year yet. We are praying and we are watching that. The suffering of our people will change. That is just our prayer. We hope things will be good, you know, for better because people are suffering. Mr. Governor, yes. you are loved by the people of Oshun. Yeah. I see your videos, I see the way people gravitate towards you. Well, I just believe that uh, I'm a grassroots man. Right. I, I don't believe because you are going to stand right. for everything. Right. Time to be serious. I'm trying to relax and uh, enjoy yourself. And of course, I love dancing. Yeah. I love singing. Right. So a lot of people, I use that to cover. They don't know that I'm a very serious person. I started doing all my yeah. project, Bagam. This one we come. Bagam says, ah, we thought this guy is he's not serious. So right. He's just dancing, but right. while he's dancing, he's working. Yes. So they were surprised. Yeah. They were embarrassed yeah. so by, our, by our achievements. With all the love that you have mm. right now from the people of Oshun, and I don't think it's just the people of Oshun. It's all over Nigeria. It's the people Even of Africa, Nigeria. Africa, across. Absolutely. Straight up. The dancing governor. It's all the way. What's next for you? Are you going to pursue your political career to become uh, president of Nigeria? Are you going to well, you know, look to for that idea, office? I'm qualified to be a president of you Nigeria. Are. Yeah. Why not? If God says that it's time for me to become president, why well, I will grab it right. and take care of my people. Right. I'm not going to say no. You know, if anything can happen, if I can be governor miraculously, because Otako, you know what the, the meaning of Ota? Enemy. I have too much enemy. Otalo Jebe. Too much enemy. Absolutely. Eh? Yes. But more good than Otalo Jebe. Matter, matter, my match all of them like this. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think I do. Big time. Absolutely. So, yeah. hey, if God says that I'm going to be there, I'm ready. Yes. I'm ready to serve my people. Absolutely. Anything can happen. Absolutely. So, no entertainment for you. You're going straight to Asurok. That's it. Mr. Governor, I'd like to thank you very much. It's, it's been nice an absolute pleasure speaking thank you so with much. you. Thank you so much.